We don't even know. One day we gotta figure out what episode we're on. Like, we've been doing this for over a year. I was numbering them and then I gave up. You did not <laughs> season two. But I don't know what episode. So... No, we don't know what episode. No, no we're not sure. We'll we write know. it in the description. Today we're drinking Yellowtail's Jammy Red Rue, which it's not even named that anymore. No. This is an old bottle. Yep. They they rebranded it into some dumb name that doesn't make no sense. But it's the same exact name. <laughs> and we're drinking Ready to Drink Mojito. And the ready to drink margaritas, which are oof, these yeah. pack a punch. I will say, I'm impressed. They are 13.9 percent alcohol. Yeah, that's what <laughs> you I just add ice. ice. Yeah, they're both 13.9. What I like about mojitos is you can actually taste the mint in it. Mm-hmm. And when you go to a bar and you ask for a mojito, they look at you and they want to kill you. The bartenders want to kill you. Don't talk about that. Because they don't like muddling mint. No, mint sucks. <laughs> yeah. They're like, can you pick a different drink? But like, we don't have any mint. Yes. Oh, well, then why did you advertise a mojito? Well, I'm Charday, aka at Just Day, or on tw Twitter, I'm OMG at Just Day because I lost my at Just Day privileges. We don't talk about that anymore. You got kicked off of uh, IG? Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. You know, leave us a comment. Give us a, an idea for something. You know, we, we, we read all your comments. So make sure that y'all do that. All that. Right there. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you hear <laughs> growling in the background, <laughs> we rescued a cat that is very upset because she's locked in a room upstairs. So if you hear random. There's so many cats. At one point, they had like four cats in a dog. We did. They all had they had to see you. All rescue. No, no, not all rescue. I was about to say, if you rescue, <laughs> no, no. Um, what, what's that movie? Uh, <laughs> the fucking. Uh, the Aristocats. <laughs> yeah, no. They just no, rescue things. So what's going on, little pretty cat? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Have them all around the house, like, yeah, let's just talk about this. I had no. to talk myself out of rescuing a dog today, but. Before the pandemic, I was not into animals, and then I was like, I work from home, so I got the, the husky, and I was like, I, I need wow. the husky. So, it's your turn. Introduce yourself. We have to introduce him. Well, introduce you, him after you. Go. Why do I have to go? If you don't go, no. <laughs> Y'all, she's literally been fed. <laughs> we gave her water. <laughs> We've been talking to her actively to loosen her up. We've been actively participating in loosening up Tickle Me Elmo so she's not Tickle Me Elmo, but for some reason it don't make no difference. Uh, give me your stupid thing. <laughs> she said, howdy, y'all. <laughs> Need you to tell me. Hi, I'm <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on my Wilson. <laughs> she was trying to say McWilson in 89. But don't follow her. I say this all the time. I still see y'all trying to follow her and stuff. Please unfollow her. Don't come in to this nonsense. You don't want... Listen, crazy is contagious. And if y'all follow her, y'all gonna get it too. I'm just worried for y'all's safety. You know, it's a panorama, panda, I'm a, no, yeah, no. we got you, all that. <laughs> and we have a guest today, we're just killing it with the guest. Bang, bang, yeah, bang, 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 you bang, got bang. a guest. Introduce yourself. My name is... It's Street Sorter. Follow me at 
Street Talk, and on Facebook, IG, Twitter, all that. But, yeah, I just now got a text about THC. <laughs> the THC in marijuana increases your testosterone levels. So, yeah. Which could lead to increased DHT production. People who are chronic users of marijuana can also experience hair loss on the scalp or even excess hair growth in other parts of their bodies due to testosterone jump. jump. Oh, wow. Smoke too much weed, you get hair on your bum bum. <laughs> I guess we should tell that to my brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with it. 
She was like, <laughs> she was I didn't like, care about that. I was like, mm. no, I didn't care about that factor. But she said, oh, CBD, you'll pass a drug I test. I did think that was a little funny because she was like, it's just CBD. It's just a little strong CBD. I was like, okay, you're not so, gonna pass a drug test with me. I'm not, like, how are you offering something that is a form of THC? But it's like, <laughs> you're still going fail a drug test. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really can't play these games because I'm high. It's I don't only, know why I'm whispering, but I am high. I am, I am Yeah, low. she was at game night just staring <laughs> into space. <laughs> but no, whenever we, went, whenever we went to the one festival, me and you both took it, and I'm like, The only yeah. one of them, well, she got a little so, bit, but yeah. I literally, it's supposed, Angel said it's supposed to take two hours. It did not take me two hours. It took me two minutes. It just minutes. made me really quiet. I just walked around, sipped wine, and I was like, and I had an edible. It's like, this is great. Yeah. Me, I was tripping. I could not walk. She, you know, she gonna stop, like, we're walking around, and then all of a sudden, she gonna stop dead center, talking about some, I can't feel my leg. What? <laughs> no. I can't pick my leg up. What? Girl, you better walk. Like, then I was like, then I was like, oh my god, they're gonna notice. They're not gonna sit here and give me more alcohol. Oh no. <laughs> the worst part about being high, like, or like trying to like use like a different form of weed or marijuana, is like with me, I smoke too much. <laughs> so now it's like if I take an edible, I'm just waiting around like. Like I don't feel no different. You'll like, never feel it because yeah. you're anticipating. You won't even realize that you've been. No, but time. because I don't but. smoke weed, I actually have one of my kickball friends say they smoke a lot of weed, and they were like, "I smoke so much weed that when I tried to delta eight, I was like, ooh, this is the only thing that could really do it for me right now because I smoke so much weed in my lifetime that." I like hit my beat really early. Mm. Yeah, it's like you're looking for that hat. If we were talking about, like, author, we was talking about the hat that you're looking for. You never get it back. <laughs> you never, like, I've been, look, I had to stop doing something that I was like, my first time trying it, it was, the right. hat uh, was great. And it's like, I tried it a few more times and I never got that. great again. You never yeah. got to that great part. I got I good. Back. I never got great. You know? Like, I um, want it back. Yeah, like, why are you being weird to me? Like, but, what did I do to you? Why are you being funny? But yeah, the, when the state starts regulating weed, they automatically pull all the Delta 8 from that particular state. They're like, you can't sell Delta 8 anymore. We legalize weed. I was like, what the heck is the correlation between it? Because Delta 8, I was like, I never smoked weed so I don't know how to lay like. Listen, I was so excited when they were like, you could just walk in and buy it. I went right down there to the south side. Like, I'm gonna take the nerds roll. Let me get them gummies over there. And I get some of those tennis shirts. I'm gonna take that too. Yeah. Oh, you sell it in vapes? I'm gonna take two of those. Bring it. Let's get it. I was yeah, like, yeah, this is a whole thing. Yeah, and the fat are like ahead of their time. They're like legalized at like 20 oh, yeah. people smoke the weed. LA like, has some of the best weed. No, Denver is amazing. Denver used to I haven't been in Denver. Denver. I, I want to go. go. I want to go to Denver. I want to go. Denver, they use a lot of them. I want to, I always wanted to go to Colorado like before I die. I want to go to Denver. <laughs> before I die. Like, before I die. <laughs> Okay. I want to go, okay, wait, let me more sp specifically you got uh, simplify time. this. Before I turn 40, I want to go to Denver. How old are you now? Colorado. You're Colorado age? So sure. Denver used most of their wheat money on, um, they used it on their roads and yeah, their transportation. Yep. I was like, oh, like the first time I went to Denver, I took like, I was, my hotel was near the airport, so <laughs> I took a bus to the airport and at the airport, I took a train, and it was like 30 minutes to get downtown Denver. It was $9 for that entire day unloaded yeah, trips. I like that. I was like... Not all day. So, were you surprised by the temperature out there? The, the like, the lack of humidity? Yeah. The air, I guess because the, the air is thinner there. I, I was That's surprised That's how it is in LA. It's not like their heat isn't when like humid and dry. Up, mm -hmm. It was like, it's hot out here. And I'm like, why wouldn't I not guess that it would be hot on me? Because like, I've been to the Midwest before, like, I've been to Oklahoma and all that stuff, and it's like, you 
you would think that Oklahoma would be like super, super, super hot, but it's like it's real hot in the morning. But it's cold, cold at night. Cold <laughs> That's how it was at Cali. And that's how mm-hmm. it was in Colorado. And, and then that's how it was in Las Vegas. They're like, Las, I mean, not Las, Las, but uh, in Las Vegas. Yeah, they're always like, well, I mean, does it ever get cold? I'm like, at night? Yes. Yeah, like real it's cold. It's the desert. It gets cold. Like we said, like, they're at night, you're going to need a jacket. Like yeah, we facts. sat there, got all dressed to go out. Because uh, we <laughs> always go to Vegas at the end of the year. So we sat there, got all dressed up to go out to we a club. We and then it. we stepped outside the door. We're like, ooh, never mind. Let's you just can't hear us before. You couldn't even be cute. I was like, A, wherever we're going, we're walking to. And B, that's cold. I, we could just, we could bring the party. She was like, let's bring the party inside. <laughs>
I'm sorry, for $250, you too can have a medical <laughs> marijuana card. And, you and can then you can pay $50 to actually get the card. And then you can go to the dispensary and buy and, you and pay for it. And you can apply online for this card. Yeah. Such crazy. It's ridiculous. It's and then you have to find money. a doctor. <laughs> To pay them to, to get no, those. No, you don't have to see a doctor anywhere. No, I mean like a person that, pers you know, can get you the card. No, to, to get the card, you don't need to see a doctor anymore. No, not a doctor, doctor. I just mean somebody that can actually get you the card. They say like they, they're, they're not really. No, I mean like you can sign up online for a card. Oh, I didn't know that. But either way, you still gotta pay for it. You still gotta pay for it. You go online and pay for a card. It don't matter. You still gotta pay for it. And you still gotta pay for the way. You can have a gun license. And that's stupid too. If you got a business, you can have a gun license though. If you have a business, you can. Yeah, you can have a you can have your medical marijuana license and a gun license, but your gun license has to be to protect your business instead of your personal. Why are you that's good to know. Yeah, because he just, he just he just dropped some some. Because our podcast has an LLC. Yeah, so um. Oh yeah, get get it. <laughs> <gun, gun>, <laughs> Y'all already know what it is. That's why I'm smiling so much. Cause y'all, yeah, I don't. Like, I started with a little share of my business that has an LLC, but I don't believe in them because I don't like them. Uh, yeah, that's cute. Well, um, yeah. but like let, let me tell you yeah. something. At the Still end of the day, uh, if somebody come for you, they, I've I'm seen too many lock. guns yeah. in like, like I've seen. They're some, horrible. They're horrible, horrible. I've things. seen what they are terrible. Do. I feel like people are horrible. I mean, they are, but I mean, I feel like I want to go back to the days where somebody pissed me off and we go knuckle it up like, bro, people. Like, Instead of me, I got a gun. But you have to think, though, there was, like, I know me growing up, my best friend, like, his dad had guns mm -hmm. in the basement. But it's like, we still was on something like, we going to fight. Because, like, and I feel like we got away thing. from that. Like, I understand guns for, like, hunting and, like, protecting your home. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to shut But why does it seem like... get on your property. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but what? But is now it's like just, like... I got all about why are these people going there? to the hayride with the nine? Why are you going to the hayride with the kids with the nine? Why do you have a gun but, at the yes, hayride? But also, why does it seem like when we were kids, maybe times have changed... But when we were kids, it didn't seem like guns were as accessible as they are now. It or, wasn't. That a I don't do no background. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all a story. I literally rolled up to Dunham's. They didn't ask me any questions. I gave them my card and my name and walked out with a gun. Shout out Dunham. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at the I time, at the time, time but, 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 I was on a mission. But was it like that back in the day? Like, were the restrictions against Girl, that? it was worse. I, I don't think it's like the restrictions in the stores that change so much. It's, it's the restrictions people. on, like, TV exposure. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. back in the day, you was not allowed to drop... Because we were all room. outside. Like, even, like, if you stayed indoors and you was watching BET, mm -hmm. BET wasn't allowing videos with guns in naked women. That's and all right. That stuff. You know what? Like, that's that's what people that, are being exposed to. No. no. No, like, it... You would have to. Watch it would have to be. Like, oh, you have to watch that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what is it? Uh, whatever it was. Oh, like, they don't yeah. do that no more. Yeah, and then know. they got to the point where they were like having it where you had to pay for that extra, you know, BET. Um, Plus or something. Yeah, it was something that you yeah. had to pay for, but it had all the good videos on it, like, you know, the Maxwell and all that other stuff. But we didn't have all that stuff. Right. And you know, all of us ladies was just waiting for the camera to just drop. <laughs> never did. You know that also never did. about this generation? Well, this like this young generation, I noticed that they took themselves way more serious than we did. I guess. They do. They take themselves a way they, too serious. They, they need to be like on like all I know I know my nieces. They feel like if I don't post, everyone's not going to know what happened to me. Yeah, like They're they, going to worry about my well-being. No one cares about They, they watch well too much, like, what's it called again? Love and hip-hop or something like that. Oh, I yeah. have to have my face no, to go to the grocery store. They're like, they're Someone may see me. No one's checking for you. They're, they're teenagers, but at the same time, it's like, you're worried about stuff in life that ain't That's normal. Like, you ain't got to be worried about it yet. Like, Ari getting a, a Lamborghini truck from Moneybag Yo is not normal. <laughs> it's not normal at Listen, all. I, I grew up raising two of them. Yeah, like. And the things that they would say to me, 
If I don't like this is this is a throwback. You remember the razor phones, the Motorola razors? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. And then they came Our, out with the light up one. My cousin that wanted was, this phone nice. so bad. And she was like, it's I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. If I don't have this phone, what is it gonna look like? I'm thinking it's gonna look like you ain't got a job. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you ain't paying for it yourself. So <laughs> I went out and I got the prepaid pink Motorola razor phone. She burned up all the minutes, came home crying. I mean, full crocodile tears. I'm, all in. I'm thinking she's gonna beat her up. I'm thinking she's hurt. I'm asking her questions. I'm like, who did it? What's his name? Where do I go? Who do I? She. I tried to text my friend and had no minutes. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, we could, like, people could never survive. Like, the early days of cell phones were. You couldn't call people af until after seven. Right. People right. would not be able to survive when you didn't have cell phones and you didn't have to leave a message. Like, you couldn't, yeah. you couldn't and it was call. And it was on the air channel. You couldn't hear free calls until after seven or nine. With a sprint, it was nine. See, but, I'm but, old. You know, old. I don't I'm remember like, having to have the time. I'm like, oh, uh, you got to call me after seven. You missed it. You missed it. Oh, shit, it was out of tape. Who? Who didn't change the tape in the, in the, in the, who did that? I just gotta be one of the street lights, come on. Oh, yeah, I, I know, but I wonder I why, I wonder, I wonder why, like, now, in this generation, kids don't have to be home when the street lights come on. They I cell remember, phones, so you can just track I remember like, I know. whenever I was younger, street my mom said that house. our asses had to be in the house when the street lights came on. Hell yeah. I mean, I feel like that's definitely, like, that should be, like, uh, a rule that's passed down generation to generation. Yeah, because, I mean, we yeah, live but in a lot of these times don't, where you don't need your like, kids out there after dark. No, you don't like, need them out in the daylight either. Me growing up, back in the day, it was dangerous to be outside, like, after the street lights. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't think it's even as dangerous, like, back then as it is now. And it's right. like, if it's right. more dangerous now... Why are you allowed to be out? Because they later? ain't even waiting for it to get dark no more. Yeah, like I mean, you could you could get people just I mean they ain't waiting for look, it to get dark. They're just like, oh, you gonna get it today? Yeah, right this now. ain't me giving y'all no no ideas and no thoughts, but like it's like a cyber war world now. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on my on my podcast, me and my friend was talking about like how he said he'd rather just homeschool his kid. I'm like, nah, because then your kid's just going to be on the computer. And they're not going to be in real life. Yeah, and, and you they'll know? be thinking like, not only that, this but is my girlfriend. Been... Like, no, that's the man. <laughs> 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 this is real life. This is yeah. how we talk to each other. And they go out here and interact with real people. And they but, say something different. And they're like, whoa. But also, what? like, with, the, uh, with kids, you know, being on the computer and everything, People people sit there and they like fuck with your computer and so forth. Mm -hmm. And they sit there like pedophiles and everything. Be oh, sitting yeah. there, pedophiles, killers. Everybody you sitting there contacting your child. Your child like, oh, thank you, Jimmy. I love you too. Yeah, and you don't even know. Exactly. <laughs> Jimmy is 49 and lives with his mama and eats little children. Yeah. And, and your son is next. <laughs> right. He lives in the basement of his mom's house. <laughs> you really messed in Harry Potter. So what I did tell, like, like, what I appreciated about going to Whitland Hills is it was diverse. Yeah, it was definitely was. Super right. diverse. To the point when I got to college, I was in shell shock of how many white people there were in college. I was like, oh, I'm a minority now. I know what that means. Yeah, I don't know where minority means. Yeah, and like, a lot of, see, I always had this conversation with people because I'm like, Bro, stop thinking that you're like this super disenfranchised person for going to Wilton Hills and all that stuff. I'm like, no, you're really not. Because, like, remember how like, off the air you asked me, like, where's all the places you stayed? And I'm like, I stayed on the south side for a little bit. Whenever I went to Knoxville, that's whenever the majority of the people was black. And there were, like, one or two white people. Wilton Hills is, like, half and half. Up. So, you know what I mean? Like, for as many black people you want to see, you're going to see white people. Like, mm -hmm. I've been to like McKelvey on the hill, and I'm like, yo, there was one white dude in that school, and I'm like, you gotta have a hard time. To get one Real school. talk. And he was just like, nah, I ain't like, <laughs> 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 I ain't got no problem. <laughs> I'm like, 
I'm like, oh, like, this is happening to me. I went to a Catholic university, and it was predominantly white. And as the vice president of Black Student Union, I made these shirts that said Black by Popular Demand. I actually wore it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sold them to black people. I sold them to white people. I sold them to some of the staff went to buy ones. Until a white person complained because they were offended. It said Black by Popular Demand. I'm offended by that is what she said. And they're like, well, these shirts are offensive. Student, stu- the student, um, student activities. Um, mm-hmm. Like student director, life. student life director pulled mm-hmm. me into the office and was like, shirts are offensive. Um, wow. Someone said they were offensive. You either got to take the school name off of them, or you, you can't sell them. I was like, I guess because I already sold them. Um, I guess I'm taking the school name off. <laughs> so I sent the email to the printer, like, just take what's on the back. Just don't put what's on the back on the back. I would have just put, took some paint and just literally just blacked out their name and continued selling. Yeah, like, yeah. sure. The right. back was changed now. It didn't have the school name on it. It said something different. And now they're, like, super vintage because Black Black Popular Demand is now copyrighted. Right. That's why I, I could never... Mad! Be. Swole, like, that could have been me, but it's, y'all fucked it up! I'm just it's saying. It's so wild. Like, people will try to, like, copyright certain things, and it's like, you take away the... the uh, what's it called again? The message. Yeah, the you mission. take away the message. Like, mm-hmm. the, the fact that Black Lives Matter is something that is, like, patented and, like, copyrighted and all this stuff, it's like... It don't mean nothing. It don't, yeah, it don't mean it's hard no more. It don't mean nothing. It's like back to what we're talking about, like when you smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. And then you get something and you're like, <laughs> this ain't even doing it. It's the same with the big. message. It's the same that with the means message. You're profiting off of people's pain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you doing with this money? You have to have transparency. You're collecting money on this. Like, what does, you can't be, people are struggling. You are taking, you say Black Lives Matter after every police brutality thing happens. You cannot collect money and say, hey, we're doing this, because they raise over the 100% mark. What happens yeah. to that over overage of money? Oh, oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a few extra vacations, a few extra boat trips. There's probably a board somewhere of Black Lives Matter, <laughs> and they're like, oh, the director gets to dictate what's happening. No. You, you know what's so crazy? I learned this from, like, doing my research, because, like I told you before, like, I'm trying to start my own 501 c Mm-hmm. Whenever you get a nonprofit, if you're the head of the nonprofit, mm-hmm. you can make your salary whatever you want you to sure be. Can. So it's like these people are saying, "Oh, Black Lives Matter, make sure you send money and do this stuff." It's like if you need help finding funding sources, I know some funders for Babylon Well, you know that's that's what I see. The mayor, you know, we're gonna start start it the right way. You know? <laughs> that's something that we're going. No, like uh. There's some. There's a lot of grants out there. I know. Uh, 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 also, yeah. thank you for sending me that. I didn't. You know, I, 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 I sent her a grant. Today. Yeah, I she's real. Well, listen, I sent grants. She is like the encyclopedia of find me some money now. <laughs> she is the one because I'll be like, where the hell is? I'm like, don't get a letter. Here's a grant. Yeah, I'll be over here like, okay, I'm taking my time. But people don't want to fill out the paperwork for grants. Yeah, it's a lot of paperwork, but it's like, it's well worth it. I mean, I did a PSSA. Like, and I flunked seventh grade, so I did the PSSA like twice. Mm-hmm. So if I could do the PSSA <laughs> twice, I could fill out a grant paperwork. Hey, right? listen. And you could do it too if I could do it. Real talk, because people are, listen, people are out here getting this money. So take the time, ask some people, uh, phone a friend, I don't know, do something. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't not do it because you don't understand something. That's what I, like a lot of times I feel like us as a people, we need to be more of a village. Seven six five four three two one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs>